Hello everyone, bring you a video today looking at British Second World War era boots FP. Now that stands for Finnish pattern and they are a cold weather boot. We'll look at these in some detail in the video. They were also quite extensively used in the Korean War as well. I did mention them and show a photograph of them in a video looking at the, the kit and equipment of 29 Brigade on its deployment to Korea. Obviously 29 Brigade being equipped with and supplied with Second World War era cold weather clothing. Without further ado, we'll get into the main part of the video and have a look at these in a little bit of detail. So these are the Boots FP, which stands for Finnish pattern, and they are designed as both a cold weather boot and they can also, in an emergency, be used for skiing as well, which we'll have a look at the details of that as we, we look at these. Once One boot here is obviously laced up, the other one's been, the laces have been removed to allow a bit better view of the internal details. The out of, of these is, is the rough side of the leather. The, we look at the one here that's been unlaced. You can see the smooth side of the leather inside there. You can see on the tongue and on the body of the boot as well. There is a marking down in there. We'll get a close up of that in just a moment. It shows the manufacturer and, and the date of these. These particular ones being dated 1944. Uh, Alan uh, has a, a pair of these, or had a pair of these previously, which were dated 1942, which I believe is around the introduction date of these. So. They are designed for cold weather use, uh, as already said, rough out leather, which obviously takes a, takes a layer of dubbing better. There's a large toe box, which means you've got room to move your toes inside. And they are supposed to be worn some, they're somewhat, they're a size up really on what they should be, which allows you to wear a thick pair of socks inside and also an insole as well. You can see these particular examples are size, size nine. We'll just have a look at the, the uppers here. You can see you've got a big pull tab at the rear to help pull them on seam detail there as we move these around and looking at the sole here you can see the the heavy studs on the sole there these may at first glance look like a sort of trefoil pattern but they are individual studs driven in in this pattern down the center here and then you can see the studs forming essentially a toe plate there down the side obviously to give plenty of grip in sort of mountain mountain warfare scenario and then looking at the rear here you can see there is a shallow cut all the way around, which obviously allows these to be used with skis in an emergency. They aren't designed primarily as a ski boot or a ski march boot. This is really for emergency use, but there is that uh, feature there which allows them to be worn with skis if absolutely necessary. You can see here, nice clear stamp on the outside there, the WD stamp there, 198. And then we'll get a close up now inside and you can see the manufacturer here the manufacturer being John White, and you can see the date there as well of 1944. So as I say, these were introduced during the Second World War, but they don't really show up much in photographs in the field. I'm not aware of photographs showing these in use in the field during the Second World War, but they were certainly used in Korea. Obviously the Second War cold weather clothing was used in Korea. The windproof smock and trousers, the jersey heavy wool and so on. And these were part of that uniform and they were used quite extensively alongside the general service boot as well and they certainly do turn up with 29 brigade on their deployment to korea of the brigade obviously being provided with this second world war vintage cold weather uniform so that's it the boots finish pattern boots fp uh, something which we're, i showed a photograph of in the the previous video talking about 29 brigade in korea looking at the kit and so forth alan very kindly provided a photograph i thought it would be nice to make a video alan provided these obviously has lent them to me to allow me to make a video looking at them in a little bit more detail so hopefully that's been of interest so that was a look at boots fp now they were certainly fairly extensively used during the korean conflict as already mentioned issued to 29 brigade they also turn up later in the war there is some footage of, of capcom troops korean army personnel attached to the british commonwealth division being issued the new combat uniform, but in place of the CWW boots, the cold wet weather boots, which are more closely associated with the combat uniform in Korea, they're actually being issued with boots FP. And you can see that in a little bit of footage here, you can see the men uh, putting on boots FP with the newly issued combat uniform. So just a little bit of interest there at the end of the video, just talking about their use in the field. As I say, I do hope you found this of interest and hopefully it's been informative and added a little bit to the Korean War era content that I've already uploaded on the channel. I thought it would be good to have a look at these in a little bit more detail. A big thanks to my friend Alan who stayed with us over Christmas. These are his boots and he brought them with him so that I could film them which has obviously filled a bit of a gap in terms of looking at the, the kit of 29 Brigade. So as I say I do hope it's been of interest. If it has and you'd like to see more from the channel please do consider subscribing if you haven't already 
And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, little notification button down below, and that will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address down there as well. That's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.